Hello everyone, back shooting again to today's video. We're going to have a look at weather for the week. Hey, today we're going to have a detailed look at weather for the next seven days across the British Isles. Uh, we've got charts coming from weatheroutlook.com and wet sense drop deep radar pitch coming from uh, the UK Met Office. All three of both websites can be found on my uh, links page. I uh, also want to mention the app. There's a video app sitting above my weather videos at gasweatherbiz.com. It's fully interactive, so you can share it on Twitter, Facebook, and click through to the advertiser's website. Uh, but the more times you play it, and the more times your Twitter followers, followers say uh, play it, the more revenue it generates for gaswebbiz.com. So by playing the ad, you're supporting uh, the website, and thank you very much uh, for doing that. Uh, and the nominations for the historic weather feeds are in. Uh, you can see which years we're doing next week for the historic weather videos. I'll be doing two uh, next week. Uh, you can see which two years we're doing uh, by watching the video that's sitting just underneath this Weather for the Week head video here on my home page. So if you want to see uh, which two years we're doing next week, uh, check that video out. Uh, so this is the radar picture at the moment. We've got some quite heavy showers here in the east and the northeast of England. Uh, could be some hail and thunder mixed in. Uh, uh, with that coming down in towards the north east Midlands, through the home county in towards south east England and through east Anglia as well. Now, a few of these showers could get through to Wales and south west England, but I think many of them actually are going to be across England uh, today, and not too many at all across Scotland and Northern Ireland. You should get away uh, with quite a decent day. This would be pressure chart for today from the GFS Bowl. Uh, we've got the low pressure up around Iceland, high pressure bridging in off the Atlantic, feeding down a cold uh, north easterly breeze, and that's feeding in most showers into uh, England in particular. So I have most heavy showers through central eastern parts of England, south east England as well through the course of uh, this afternoon. Mainly dry for Wales and the south west, but there will be a few showers coming through. And basically it's a dry day for Scotland and Northern Ireland uh, with this low pressure just starting to bring some rain into the far north and northwest of Scotland by the end of the afternoon. Uh, temperatures today are going to be on the cold side, it's going to be a cold day, uh, just uh, 7, 8 degrees in the north, 9, 10, 11 in the south, well below where we should be uh, at the end of April. Uh, tonight we're going to have this ridge of high pressure coming in across England, but the low pressure is developing to uh, the north of the country, uh, north of Scotland. So we're going to bring some cloud and light rain down through western Scotland, northern Ireland, and northwestern parts of England. Uh, the rest of England and Wales, though, having a dry and clear night with a widespread ground frost, temperatures as well as freezing. Uh, perhaps one or two rural localities getting down uh, to minus one in some places but further north it should be a reasonably mild night actually uh, with temperatures holding up above freezing. As we go into Sunday the low pressure to the north of Scotland is dominated weather bring down cloud and light rain across the country. We'll probably get off to a sunny start for England and Wales but that will quickly go and the cloud of light rain will come down from the north. Generally quite a disappointing day. Temperatures just at 10, 11, 12 degrees in the north uh, perhaps up to 13 degrees in south. 13 is 55 Fahrenheit. We're into this northerly wind as we go into Monday. We'll clear away the last of the cloud and patch rain from south east early on. I mean it's a day of sunshine and showers and the showers will be heavy with hail and thunder and we might get some sleet or snow over the Scottish mountains. It's going to be a cool day again with temperatures in the north just 7 degrees in the south around 11 or 12 well below where we should be. Bridge of high pressure builds in as we go into a Tuesday or tries to build in but this is still a shower we've seen. Uh, some of the showers will be heavy with hail and thunder particularly in the north probably mainly dry I'm thinking in the south uh, but a lot of showers around on a Tuesday in the north. Again there may, may be some wintriness in the showers over the Scottish mountains. It's going to be quite a cool cool day again or really quite a cold day actually on Tuesday uh, maybe the last day of April but temperatures will be disappointing at around 8 to 13 degrees at best. Wednesday might be a better day actually with a ridge of high pressure away from Scotland where this low pressure could be feeding in some cloud and rain by the end of the day. Uh, most places probably dry on Wednesday with good sunny spells and that could lift the temperatures up to 15 degrees but we'll probably have quite a cold start uh, with the risk of a ground frost for many of us. And then things get very complicated as we go into Thursday and Friday. This trough of low pressure is moving down uh, from the north on Thursday and Friday but quite how it happens uh, very uncertain but I think what we can say is that Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England at risk of some wet weather through Thursday and Friday whereas England and Wales probably get the best of the driest, brightest weather but it won't necessarily be completely dry 
uh, for England and Wales, and there'll probably be a growing risk of rain coming down from the north uh, with time. And as we go into the bank holiday weekend, look at this, low pressure starting to move in off the Atlantic, bring cloud, wind and rain across all parts of the country, but that's very uncertain uh, as we go into the bank holiday weekend. The ECMWF this morning actually wants to uh, ridge in high pressure and give us a very nice, warm and sunny weekend. So a lot of uncertainty about the bank holiday, as there very often is, to be honest, uh, around bank holiday periods. It's funny how the weather gets uncertain or seems to know uh, when back holidays are looming and the patterns get uncertain. Finally, having a look at charts and the weather outlook, and we've got the showers here across the country today, England in particular. Some getting through to Wales and the southwest, but the best of the dry and bright weather will be there, I think, uh, whereas the showers further east will be heavy with the risk of hail and thunder. Scotland and Northern Ireland getting away with a mainly dry day, but temperatures are disappointing uh, for all of us. The cloud and patchy rain comes down from the north and the west as we go into Sunday, so after a bright start in the south of the east, it will go downhill uh, with cloud and light rain almost anywhere. Temperature are still on the cool side. We're going to tap northerly wind on uh, Monday, so it's sunshine and showers, and some of the showers heavy, particularly in the north, where there could be hail and thunder and winchiness over the high ground. Uh, Tuesday, it's still showery scene, particularly for northern England and Scotland, but I think uh, further south, England and Wales, probably getting away with a fairly reasonable day. Uh, temperature's disappointing, though, maybe up to 13 or 14 degrees, but nothing to get excited about. Uh, the best of the dry and bright weather could be on Wednesday, a fairly reasonable day. Some rain coming into north of Scotland but elsewhere uh, largely dry, a few showers still scattered around but I think Wednesday uh, a better day, uh, temperature still nothing to uh, write home about uh, then for Thursday and for Friday a lot of uncertainty but a growing risk of rain coming in from the north where showers are longer spells of rain really and those temperatures overall are pretty disappointing uh, for the start of May and um, going into next weekend we've got a lot of uncertainty for the bank holiday uh, will it be dry and warm or will it be cool and very wet and windy hard to say just at this stage I'll keep you updated on it uh, so in summary well it looks like we're staying pretty cool for the rest of uh, the coming week to be honest uh, with showers or longer spells of rain um, not going to be a complete washout will be some dry and bright weather particularly for England and Wales and particularly on Wednesday, which looks a decent day, but overall quite a changeable and cool week coming up. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.